Hello, this is Chris from OpenSoft Training. I've been experimenting with the Adapt Authoring tool. It's a responsive authoring tool. Go ahead and have a look at what I've done. Because it's responsive, I might as well have a look at a tablet view. There we go. I've created three pages, but we're going to have a look at T today. Let's go ahead and view that. That's the headers and the text. So what I've done here is I've obviously created an image on the left and a question on the right, so go ahead and answer that. Submit correct. And we can go back to our main page. Let's go see how I uh that back to the authoring tool. And there's the three pages. If we double click that, it'll show us our structure. So there's the blocks. On the left, we've got the graphic, on the right, the question. That's a te text input component. So let's go ahead. So there's the other. There's a blank structure, so we'll go ahead and add another question. Add a block, or add a component. Some really nice components here. I, I need to uh, investigate, but we'll stick to the simple stuff so far. So it's graphic, add to the left. Now, because it's a responsive authoring tool, we need two images one for desktop. For mobile, so we're happy with that. Now we can go ahead and create our question, add component, and we will select multiple choice. Add to the right because the graphics on the left. Edit that. Basically, that's all just the component titles. What we're really interested in is the question. How many cubes do you see? We'll add an option. Three, and true is correct answer. Add our own question. Four, that's false. Okay, that. I think we're quite happy with that. Oh no, we're not. We have to. <laughs> apologies. We have to put in the correct and incorrect final. And I have got a component running in the background. So let's get to the. Here it is required. Com good counting. And the wrong. Try again, but uh, we can try again. But I think we've only picked one go for this. Now we'll go down to. Save that and then go back to um, the block. Uh, uh, settings. And this is the extension I wanted to show you. So in the background, when you switch pages, as you scroll down the page, it will change the image. Which is kind of a nice feature, it's a nice extension. So, yeah, we'll select that image again. That'll look quite nice from a design point of view. Done. And we'll go ahead and preview that. Again, we can look at it in responsive view. Try a portrait this time. Looks really nice and responsive. 
there's our three initial pages go ahead and view that now as we scroll down it will change image cup of tea fig lastly our sugar we've got sugar in the background how many cubes do we see? three submit correct so that's my first initial attempt at um, an adapt author in tool hope you found it useful